What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 Anime. In today's video I'm going to be uh, doing this kind of 500 subscriber special. Uh, behind this door here is my studio and kind of like anime room. So this is basically where I spend the absolute majority of my life making videos for you guys. But if you're new here and you're just checking out the studio tour, uh, what I do is I do anime fact videos, I do subscription box openings, figure reviews and a lot more. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, then you know, check out the channel and subscribe. If not, that'd be uh, absolutely amazing. Um, but for this one, I'm literally just holding my camera on this little tripod here. So I'm gonna try and keep it as, as steady as I can. And as well as that, I'll try and keep myself in focus as well. Uh, but the main focus is gonna be the room, not me. So with that being said, Let's have a look. So we're going to kick off with my editing area. So I run on a Mac here. I've got a dual screen as well, but unfortunately <laughs> I haven't got a cable to connect that yet. Uh, one thing I should mention as well is that this studio is constantly being uh, upgraded. So a lot of the stuff in here will change over time as well as I'll upgrade to improve the, the content. So yeah, I run on the Mac there and obviously I've got a uh, waifu herself, best girl, Kuromi Tokusaki as my desktop background there. Uh, I've got this cool, amazing, um, I think it's like an MX Master Mouse. This is like, if anyone that's interested in like video recording, this thing is the bomb. So get one of those. Uh, as well as that, I've got my two speakers on the side. Obviously a Death Note mug there with a with lights chilling just there. I've got this really awful computer chair thing here as well. I suffer with a bad back, so I always need a cushion. And once again, the waifu herself, Kurumi Tokusaki. As well as that, chilling on my speaker here, I got this little gift uh, from a friend of mine at work, this little Shino from Angel, um, Angel Beat. So she just kind of chills on top of my, uh, my speaker there. Moving upwards then, so beforehand I was just staring at white walls but now I've just put some posts up. So I've got Tokyo Ghoul, I've got a Twin Star Exodus po uh, poster, I'm really into that at the moment, I'm loving the manga series. Uh, so I had to get that. Moving across even more we have obviously One Punch Man, uh, of course, Saitama looking boss. Got a bit of a uh, ReZero as well. And then finally I've got this uh, Dragon Ball poster as well, which is really cool, I love that. Moving on then, so this desk is basically where I do all my uh, my figure reviews or my, if you follow my, my channel 414YGO, I do all of my 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 like openings and stuff on there. Uh, so I've got this little kind of backdrop, this is what I use uh, for my figure reviews. I've got this little kind of uh, turntable thing as well, so when I do the more artsy poses of the figures, it's it's stood on that thing. Uh, of course, a box of Akibento, I haven't opened this yet, so sometimes if, I, um, if I've got videos to make, uh, what I'll do is I'll just leave what I need to record in this area over here. Then I've got this, this blue snowball ice. Uh, this is what I use to record all my voiceovers. Uh, obviously, I'm not using it at the moment, so hopefully the audio on this video is okay. Uh, so generally for fact videos, I'll just kind of uh, have it set up on there and I'll Put it on my desk and just kind of read read off the screen uh, uh, all the scripts that I make. Uh, but when I'm doing like my figure reviews and things, I've got this little boom arm here with a uh, pop filter. I've got another pop filter for the uh, for the blue snowball, and I'm not using uh, it on here. Uh, but this is really cool. So it kind of like extends over, and I can have it. So sometimes I'll stand when I'm doing my Aki Bento boxes or I'll be kind of sat down in that kind of position there when I'm doing the figure reviews. But just like we've got the Aki Bento box over here, uh, here's some more figures that I uh, have reviewed or yet to review. So uh, I've done my Inori one that's on the channel now. Uh, by the time you're watching this I'll have just finished uh, my Madoka Kaname and Android figure review so that's really cool. Uh, but coming up we have uh, Archer from Fate Stay Night, the, the Figma there. Uh, obviously there's a bit of a theme here, uh, but Kurumi, the waifu, uh, her Nendroid, she looks absolutely sweet actually. I'm really looking forward to getting that one. And uh, we've got this uh, Nendroid from Black Rock Shooter as well, I just loved 
the uh, the design of that girl there. She looks really cool. Onto one of my bookshelves then. So <laughs> I went through this phase where I was just com like I was just collecting a load of like Pokemon plushes. Uh, I, I, I did try to make my own like kind of Pokemon channel uh, last year, but I, I think balancing the two the two cha two <laughs> the two channels didn't work. Uh, but obviously now this year I've started this anime channel and I'm balancing it nicely and it's growing uh, wonderfully. So once again, thank you so much for the uh, the subscribers. Uh, but we've got yeah, we've got like a little Fennec in there. Uh, I got this Pikachu from my trip uh, to uh, America. I got this from Disneyland Epcot in the uh, the Japan section. Uh, really cool. I love the uh, the expression on that. Uh, I got this Mega Charizard from a Comic Con last year. Uh, this Marrow I've had for a while. Also from Comic Con, <laughs> uh, Magikarp. I love this guy. I mean, who doesn't love Magikarp? It's like the the king of the ocean. Um, but the facial expression, everything on that was just, just perfect. So I went for that. Uh, I got this Eevee from the Comic Con as well. Um, Chikorita uh, from my time in America, as well as the Cyndaquil, just chilling back there. Uh, there's a little Haunter just chilling in the back over there, uh, with Latios on top of Litten. And um, this little thing over here, uh, I had a trainee at work, uh, and for, <laughs> I think, uh, no apparent reason, uh, I, was, I was at work one day, and this thing hit my head. Uh, but she makes, like, I think it's croquet is what you call it, but she made, like, a little Zuba. Um, we were having, like, this little kind of, like, repel Zubat kind of joke thing at the, uh, at the time. Uh, but she made that for me and it's really awesome. So you take uh, Center Stage, well not Center Stage, but you can join the other Poker Pals. Moving down, I mean this shelf is basically where I keep a lot of the uh, stuff I get from like my Aki Bento or uh, Loot Anime boxes. But we've got the awesome uh, Full Metal Alchemist tumbler here. I keep wanting to use it, but at the same time I just, I'm one of these people that like kind of hoard th hoards things and, and doesn't really kind of uh, use them. Uh, and I just like to look at them because I'm lame like that. Uh, then we've got these uh, One Punch Man minis, so we've got Saitama and Genos, which is awesome. Uh, we've got this uh, Death Note uh, mug. This I actually use, but the box is cool, so I thought I'd keep that out. Uh, moving on, we've got an Ichigo figure there. Uh, this was really cool, actually, this little Pokeball. This holds... Um, DS games, so it's cool. Uh, it was an Omega Ruby uh, special edition kind of thing, so that's awesome. And that kind of, like, just lives on there. Uh, next to each go. Uh, there it is in the back there. Pokemon Go Plus, pick that up in America. Uh, chilling behind there is uh, Pokemon Sun. Chilling behind here, uh, we have, oh God, knocking stuff over. Uh, Pokemon Soul Silver version. And behind our Death Note stuff over here, we've got this uh, Pokemon Heart Gold version as well. So these are the special editions that came with the uh, the Poker Walker accessories, uh, which is really cool. Chilling also in the back of here, we have a hidden Ocarina. Uh, big Legend of Zelda fan as well. Uh, so we've got Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, in this little box is some kind of like charms. Uh, as well as uh, being a big Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh anime fan, I'm a big Star Wars fan as well. And uh, as a kid, Darth Vader was my favorite uh, character of all time. So I've got a book on Darth Vader there. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Uh, Dark Lord, uh, Rise. Uh, the Rise of Darth Vader. Uh, so, you know, if anyone is into Star Wars, I mean, obviously it's a, um, I wouldn't say acquired taste, but um, if you want to know more about like the insides of like Vader and his thoughts on like, like how he became Darth Vader and whatnot, uh, definitely worth a read. It's a really cool book. Second shelf, uh, we got this cool high school uh, DXD print um, from I think it was Loot Anime that this one came in, but I really like the uh, the artwork on that uh, and a very uh, unlewed, I guess the word is uh, for this show. Uh, but really cool prints. Uh, here are some of the, uh, the, the, the 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 Figma boxes that I have. So obviously we've got uh, Mikasa, uh, we've got Eren, Yugi, mm. Kirito, and Sinon as well. Uh, so I've done reviews on all of these on the channel, apart from the Yugi one. That's on my 414 YGO channel. But if you want to check out any of them, then obviously head over to the yeah. channel. Uh, some more like Akubento and Loot Anime stuff. We've got this cool like, little bobblehead thing. It's meant to work in the solar, but I think because I've got my like ring light on, it's not picking that up as solar light. Um, more Pokemon stuff behind this. We have a Master Ball, obviously. Uh, I got bought this uh, block Lego Charizard thing. Um, I still need to build that. Uh, hanging back, glass from the past, old school Pokedex there, of course. And uh, in these boxes are like some gym badges and there's like some Articuno kind of thing chilling back there. Uh, here's an Akibento fidget spinner, so it's like a, a ninja star. Uh, really cool, you know, cool addition to that box. I, I wasn't really 
like into the hype of fidget spinners, but uh, I can see <laughs> why they are popular. Sometimes when I'm editing, I'll just sit there spinning that round. Um, then we got some Mushishi, um, like little teacups. This came from uh, the recent loot anime. Uh, really cool, uh, cool like a decorative piece. That's what I use it for anyway. Uh, another cool decorative piece is this horizon on the middle of nowhere kind of teacup. Uh, I use this basically just to store like little bits and bobs. But I love, uh, I love that show. And uh, I saw this like, I think it was like two pound on eBay or something like that and I was like, Sold. It's mine. Moving down even more, this is basically where I keep all my kind of like Aki Bento like exclusives. Uh, so I know these are sunglasses. I think this is like some sort of necklace. Uh, this is just an Ultra Pro deck box. Uh, I got that from my um, Deck Mania subscription box opening. Uh, chilling back here, uh, we have this uh, key ring that my brother bought me for uh, for Christmas one year uh, with Osner on it. Uh, Cool, uh, cool pose, so I thought I'd keep that there. Uh, Code Geass stickers there, just random, but I love Code Geass. I need to get some more Code Geass stuff in my life. Uh, some Pokemon key rings, and there was another key ring there as well. I think it was of Biakwe's uh, Zanpakuto, uh, which is probably just chilling up here, actually. Yeah, there it is. Awesome sauce. And uh, then we got the Dragon Balls. Um, Obviously, like another kind of like eBay purchase, uh, but you know, Dragon Balls, you need them in your life, right? Next up is this Naruto box here. So, in this is just a kunai. It's cool. Uh, then we got this Ruby figure. This came with, uh, I think it was my first ever, uh, was it Aki Bento? Might have been Aki Bento um, box opening. So, she, uh, she lives there. Uh, another Aki Bento exclusive there. Chilling behind here is the first Pokemon toy I ever bought. This little Pikachu. Really cool, uh, fat thing back in the past. Uh, behind Ruby, uh, we have this awesome Dragon Ball Z uh, wallet here. I bought this, I think, when I was like 12. <laughs> uh, I got it while I was in ho holiday in like Tenerife or something random like that. Uh, but awesome, awesome. I love the artwork on there. Obviously Vegeta, Goku and Nappa. Really cool. Uh, another present that my brother bought me for Christmas one year. It's uh, an Attack on Titan like kind of pocket watch kind of thing. But I love the artwork on the box. So I have that on display. Moving down even more then. So uh, I've got this Sabre uh, S, uh, Galaxy S6 phone case. I bought this and literally like a week after buying this, uh, my phone like broke. And I was so gutted because I absolutely love the artwork on there. I think it's really, really cool. And I was just kind of like walking around like, yeah, I got Sabre. <laughs> what you got? Uh, so yeah, gutted about that. Uh, also, another gutting experience is this uh, <laughs> this Sasuke figure I bought. Obviously a bootleg, uh, but uh, his sword has, has broken. So it uh, serves, serves me right for buying bootleg figures, I guess. Behind there, I just have a couple of Beyblades. Me and my brother were like, hey, we haven't done Beyblades in ages. And uh, yeah, they're still in the box. <laughs> Uh, then we've got this like Naruto figure, another, um, I think it might have been Loot Anime, that one. Uh, this awesome Noragami pin, just hidden behind the uh, the Sabre phone case. Uh, this is basically a, a shelf where I just keep like random bits and bobs, because uh, we've got loads of like, some Fate stickers. Uh, underneath that we've got like No Game No Life, like Air Freshener. Uh, we've got some patches from uh, Kill a Kill. Dorararab, some Blue Axis stickers, I think there's some JoJo stuff down there as well. Uh, then I've got this um, little kind of black butler thing. Basically it's the key from Attack on Titan, still don't know what it does. Uh, of course every um, every collector of like anime stuff, this is kind of like <laughs> a staple, a uh, headband from Naruto. Uh, the Sailor Moon figure there. Behind here, I love this. I need to get this actually out on show a bit more. I didn't, um, I didn't know who it was when I first opened it, but I've, I've since watched, watched the show. So of course we've got a Hestia fan there, and uh, we're all team Hestia over at 414. Uh, behind there is a Gurren Lagann uh, art book. Really cool. Uh, once again, another edition uh, from, I think it was Loot Anime that time. Um, really cool, I love the artwork in there. Uh, we've got the uh, the bandana from the loot, latest Loot Anime. Uh, some little kind of plush thing. I think it's from like, Kuroko's basketball, not too sure. Uh, we've got Ichigo's hollow mask, hidden just beneath, uh, beneath there. And then finally, uh, like some sort of cat hat, <laughs> which is amazing. Uh, bottom shelf is really messy. Uh, it's basically full of like books and like paperwork, uh, but I kind of like decorate the bottom. So this was like a phone holder thing. Uh, I, I did use it, but uh, since upgrading to an S7 Edge, it is too big for this and it kept toppling over and I don't want it to break. Uh, I bought this kind of file. Uh, thing here, but once again uh, from Horizon on the middle of nowhere. Uh, Horizon Aridust definitely on the waifu list, uh, and I, I just kind of love the artwork on that, so I bought that. 
Uh, moving on, so obviously we've got some more artwork here. There's a little artwork book, a uh, book on manga, Yu-Gi-Oh tin, and then finally we have this Black Rock Shooter uh, notebook, which is really, really cool. As I'm down here as well, I thought, you know what, I might as well show the, the mess, which is underneath uh, the table here. <laughs> so this is basically where I keep all like tripods. Uh, I've got uh, two binders full of uh, like hollows and stuff. Uh, from my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So if you're watching this from 414YGO, if you want me to uh, show you what's in those binders, then uh, yeah, leave me a comment in the section below this video. Uh, but my Aki Bento boxes, basically, uh, they seem like they're empty, uh, but this one contains like all the spare figure parts and whatnot I have, and the uh, the <laughs> the one next to it has all the kind of like posters and then all the phone charms and everything. So I might as well show you that while we're on here. Yeah, so this has all like the posters, uh, all like pin badges, uh, and the phone charms are just here. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. As well as that, I keep like a load of my figure boxes behind here. Uh, so we've got Lelouch, Sabre, uh, Karitsuku just hanging back there, and uh, some on this side, still a bit more of a mess. Uh, there's my uh, my box for my Figma Shana, uh, loads of like kind of like common Yu Gi Oh's. Uh, cards just stuffed into those deck boxes. Uh, there's a crap load of uh, uh, like just commons there as well. I really need to kind of like sell them, but like who wants a load of random commons, right? Uh, I've got playlists, um, play playlists, play mats and things there. A little Pikachu just hanging there, and just some more kind of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I need to organise this. Uh, this mess really, but <laughs> it'll okay. do. So if you are watching from 4 and 4 YGO, this is probably the part that you'll be most interested in. Uh, so this is my kind of like wall of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, so I've got this Yu-Gi-Oh puzzle here. I got this from my time in America. Uh, the latest Yu-Gi and Kaiba 2017 Megatins. Uh, a random 2016 Megatin of uh, the the Yugi one, I should say. Uh, down here, my Mushi Shushi box. I like the box that was there. Uh, in this box, um, definitely a bootleg item. I did a review on these, uh, but these are under the foil. Hopefully, they're all in order. Um, kind of <laughs> falling apart a bit, but uh, Millennium items. I still need to kind of find a way of um, displaying these. But I like the artwork on the box. Obviously, they stole the, the legendary collection thing. Uh, chilling back over here then. So, obviously, the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh game ever, in my opinion anyway, food of memories for the PlayStation 1. Uh, we've got a Light and Darkness power pack hanging there. Uh, we've got the uh, Hero Elite Edition. This cool, cool summon school figure. Uh, I kept the price tag on, I don't know why, it really annoys me when I do that. Uh, and my brother got me a birthday card one year. Uh, <laughs> and that was that, it was really cool. Uh, you get top trumps, uh, then we have a Gate Guardian figure as well. Obviously it was buy one get one free with Summon Skull over there, so why not? Uh, I've got one of those double deck boxes there, and I've got loads of structure decks. Uh, all opened and reviewed on the channel as well, by the way. So if you want to uh, look, if you want to see any of these, what's in them and whatnot, just check out the channel. Um, 414 YGO if you're watching for 414 anime. Uh, but there we go, we've got a couple, uh, like a Retro Pack 2 uh, set there as well. I'd like to open more of those, but they're like really, really hard and expensive to get hold of. Uh, next up, so I've got this awesome uh, playmat here. I love this. This came with two um, Japanese cards. We've got Dark Magician of Chaos and Chaos Emperor, Dragon, Envoy of the End. I think I've remembered that rightly. <laughs> uh, we've got some random... Um, Sleeves here, so we've got the Chibi Yugi, we've got some Dark Side of Dimension uh, sleeves there as well. Um, we've got the Xarian Universe tin hidden behind there. Uh, the Jaden Yuki uh, Duelist Pack uh, tin, that was really cool, I really enjoyed opening that, I need to get another one. Uh, we've got the Kaiba Structure Deck, and then we've got the Kaiba and Yugi 2016 Megatins there. Uh, panning across we've got the Yugi Structure Deck, uh, these are the latest ones anyway. Uh, another birthday card from my brother. <laughs> Don't know if you can see that, so great, it's the leader of the Dweeb Patrol. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Uh, behind there, we've got the Yusei uh, little. <coughs> Come on, you call them now, they're like. It basically just had some dollars pack you, uh, Yusei in it, which was cool. Uh, chilling behind there is a Panther Warrior tin, and there was uh, another tin there just featured. Uh, for, for, for protagonists from the Yu Gi Oh series. Moving upwards, then, so we've got uh, two of these Yu Gi Oh. Uh, like deck boxes, which is really cool. I've got some uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh manga. Uh, behind here we have a uh, Crystal Beast Pegasus tin, a uh, Cyber Dragon tin, a Prophecy Destroyer tin, a Power Tool Dragon tin, and an Ancient Fairy Dragon tin as well, which is really cool. 
sitting in front of that was my booster like box of Duelist Saga. I loved love the artwork on the front, so that takes center stage on there. More sleeves, we've got these uh, Kaiba, Kaiba sleeves there. We've got a uh, manga of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. <laughs> Do you remember these kind of like Tazoo-like things? I've got this Kaiba one. <laughs> uh, so that kind of just sits on there, pretty cool. Moving upwards then. <clears throat> So I got these cool like Prima official strategy guides from when the game first came out. So this is like a card catalogue one. Uh, on the other side, I have the uh, the first ever like kind of like rule book. I did reviews on these on the channel as well. Like everything on here has been reviewed on the channel. So if you want to see any of them, then then they're over there. <clears throat> uh, anyway, so I've got this like chibi deck box here. It's got Yugi, Dark Magician, and Dark Magician Girl. On the other side, we've got Koiba, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and XYZ Dragon Cannon. Uh, a legendary collection for Joey's World, really cool sets. I love the legendary collection sets. Uh, this kind of shelf's all dedicated to that. So we've got a legendary collection one binder edition there. Of course, you've got the god cards. Uh, another Doorless Saga kind of box. Uh, I found this lanyard uh, in a shop in America. Uh, it was just like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Uh, Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World, obviously. Uh, in the back we've got the Legendary Collection 2, uh, like the GX era. Uh, this was the binder edition, so we've got the Sacred Beasts instead of the God Cards this time. Um, then I've got Dungeon Dice Monsters on the back. I haven't reviewed this on the channel. I was going to review it and maybe play a game. Um, so I might do that in the future. Dark Magician. Just chilling in that little key ring there. Moving upwards, uh, we've got the legendary uh, legendary decks. We've got legendary dragons, uh, legendary decks one, and legendary decks two. Uh, hidden behind there's a booster box of dragons of legend unleashed. Hidden behind there, a uh, millennium puzzle, and a duelist pack, Jesse Anderson booster box. So we've got um, Exodia, and then I've got a booster box of cybernetic revolution, dragons of legend two, rise of destiny, magic ruler, duelist pack, rivals of the pharaoh. Uh, Duelist Pack, Battle City, and Millennium Pack chilling back there as well. Okay, so that's it done with the UK. On top of it, I have some anime plushies. So I've got uh, Akamaru just chilling there. Uh, I've got L, Sasuke next to Naruto. There's Naruto's. <laughs> um, he's like a little wallet, I guess, like coin purse. You can get these like for like a quid on like eBay. And it was just one of those like kind of little cheap collectible items. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, old man Yamamoto there from Bleach, as well as Byakuya. And chilling at the back is Ichigo Kurosaki. Uh, there's a little board just behind these guys. Uh, basically, it's got a playman on it, and it's just got like, loads of tickets to like shows I've been to. Uh, I don't know if you can see them there, but it kind of goes all the way around. Been to a lot of shows. Um, chilling just on here was another loot anime kind of. I think it was loot anime or was Akbento, but it's, we've got Kir Kirito's sword here. Just chilling there behind the, the Pokemon plushies. Next up is this little like desk over here. Uh, on my 414 YGO channel, I do character deck profiles and duels. So I'll do all the duels on here, and um, I do my deck profiles on here as well. I find it's uh, a lot easier. It's a better height for me. So I'll just stick a random play mat on there, and uh, I'll record that. Just underneath here, uh, <laughs> lighting's probably bad, but there are uh, some of my character decks. Uh, these are the most recent ones that I used in my my, my latest tournament on there. Uh, in the back there, I've got some. <clears throat> that box has got the rest of my character decks in and there's just some like tokens and stuff in that box just above that. Uh, moving to the back of this table then, uh, this box uh, I love kind of stuff where it's like dream big, make it count and stuff like that, I find it's uh, inspiring but all, all the stuff in here is like all my manga accessories and like artwork stuff uh, which is cool. Uh, no. Canon camera, and we've got some twin star Exodus as well, so this is all uh, 10 volumes that are out at the moment. Um, I love this series. Uh, I think I bought like the first three. Yeah, I bought the first. No, I bought the first two actually. I bought the first two, and I was like, "Hey, well, I'll see what this is all about." I love the artwork on it, and uh, I've just been absolutely hooked. So I've bought all of that. If you're looking for a new manga to read, I mean, it's like I mean, the, the latest one's just come out this month, uh, but definitely I recommend Twin Star Exodus. It's a really, really cool series. Okay, finally, uh, I've got this little area that I've set up for myself over here. Um, back in about July time, I decided that I. I just kind of like woke up one morning and thought, you know, what? I wanted to like start drawing like anime art, manga art, and things like that. And um, yeah, it kind of spiraled out of there, and I actually turned out to be quite a ride of it. So I made this little area in the here, uh, basically just to do that. Um, I've kind of moved all my stuff downstairs at the moment because I switched between working up here or you know actually being kind of sociable with my brother and <laughs> you know uh, work downstairs. Uh, but this is generally where I um, 
I'll draw everything here. So I've got like play mat, and then I've got the kind of drawing, drawing utensils, a pencil case. Um, I've just started reading Konosuba as well. Um, obviously, why not? Because I've, I've caught up with uh, Twin Star. I needed something else. So I was like, hey, that was cool. Um, but yeah, I have my old MacBook Pro set up here. I don't know if you can see me there. What's going on? Uh, this is what I used to run off when I was editing all my videos and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> but it got to the point where uh, this thing is like seven, nearly eight years old. So um, I upgraded. But I keep this over here for when I do references and things on um, like my artwork. So it's really cool. I've got like a collection of like manga and like loot anime and akibento boxes. Uh, it's got some sort of online there. At the top is the first Kodosuba, Black Clover, some more akibento stuff. We've got Soul Eater. I'm just watching the anime of that actually at the moment. It's really cool, really enjoying it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, Parasite, obviously. Ash, catch him, get up. <laughs> kind of just like bar there and thought, you know, it looked cool. So I've got that there. Um, random Skittles um, candle. Kind of to set the mood. <laughs> <laughs> if it needs setting. Uh, but that's, I picked that up for like a couple of quid. It just makes the room smell nice. Um, this book I recommend. I, this is one of the first books I got when I was doing it. The Master Guide to Drawing Anime. Um, really cool book. I'll leave a link to that in the description below actually. So, you know, if you're getting into like that kind of thing. I like my phone gone off. Then that's that was a good book for me. Uh, it helped me out a lot. But yeah, this is the studio, my like kind of like anime room, I guess. Um, what I will do actually is I'll show you downstairs to our living room because that's where I keep all my figures and whatnot. So I'm guessing... Uh, some of you watching this will want to see the, the figures and what's going on over there. So, be right back. We're going to head on downstairs. Right then, so this is the living room here. The lighting's not great in here today. So, um, like the rest of the anime collection, so to speak. Yeah. So, like I was mentioning upstairs, that uh, I've got that little like kind of setup for my manga. Um, this is how basically commandeered my brother's, my PC area to, to kind of like do like some stuff while he's chilling on the PlayStation one he's a he's a big gamer and I thought I'd be social but I'll quickly show you a couple of like pieces I've done I've just finished up Kyoko here from uh, Madoka Magica really happy with that piece uh, if you're interested in kind of like artwork and stuff like that uh, the stuff I do I'm gonna start like an Instagram channel soon um, Instagram like page I guess um, it's going to feature more artwork. Uh, so, like I say, I only got into this like very recently, so it was like July time. Uh, but here's uh, Madoka Kaname. Did a quick Kyube. Akako uh, Uraraka from uh, My Hero. Uh, and I did Kachan. Uh, of course, Deku as well. I'll show you a couple more. Actually, I did some Naruto ones. Uh, so, here's Sasuke Uchiha. There was Kakashi Hatake. And. Naruto Uzumaki. If you'd like to see more on like my kind of arts and stuff like that, leave me a comment in the section below. Uh, but there that is anyway. We've got this cool Triforce light over here. Uh, I got this for Christmas one year. Uh, one of my prized possessions, uh, Lelouch v Britannia. I don't know if it's picking that up well enough, but there he is. He is absolutely awesome. He's definitely one of my prized, prized pieces there because uh, I'm a massive fan of Code Geass. Uh, a Death Note hung behind there. Uh, we've got a cone kind of hung up there. Uh, this is kind of like a little series that I'm working on. Uh, I bought this kind of like <laughs> box here and I kind of got it there <laughs> as <clears throat> inspiration. I don't know, it was like five or so. <laughs> it's like, why not? Uh, second prize piece is Saber over here. And I hope this picks up nicely. Uh, but she is absolutely awesome. Uh, all these figure reviews are on the channel, so check them out if you haven't yet. But she looks absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, my brother got this Bayek figure from Assassin's Creed. He bought like the big gods edition set kind of thing. Uh, just him down here, we're, as well as like anime and stuff, like big fans of Star Wars. So just some Star Wars merch hanging down there. Little Boba Fett thing. And uh, this is a. Uh, this is Calcifer. Say hi. Uh, just to highlight this quickly. It's like one of my prized possessions. I used to play in a band like uh, a couple of years ago. And this is one of my like prize guitars. It's just a, a replica of the uh, top of the log. I think it's like uh, E. See, I can't remember what it's called now. It's been a while, uh, but I love that. Shameless plugging of my channel there. Uh, but here we go. So this is probably the bit that you're interested in. Uh, me and my brother um, were trying to collect like the pop vinyls and things like that. I mean, majority of these are his, but I'll pick one up every now and then because obviously uh, collecting everything. Uh, but we have Kirito on top next to Toka. We've got Kanake, uh, Eren's Titanform, Brothers Deadpool, the Balrog, obviously from Lord of the Rings, big Lord of the Rings fan. Uh, then we've got Toby, Ichigo, Hollow Ichigo, 
Sebastian from Black Butler, Sasuke Uchiha, and then like just like a million Naruto. So we've got Naruto, we've got Naruto Rasengan, Naruto Sage Mode, Naruto Sixth Path, Kakashi, um, we've got this big Kuruma as well. Uh, same again with these price stickers. <laughs> my brother tends to keep them on, whereas I, I, I just take them off. So that's quite annoying. Uh, moving over, so my brother's a World of Warcraft fan as well, so he's got uh, Arthas there. Uh, but we collected the, the L, the Death Note series ones. We've got L, Ryuk, Light Yagami, chilling over there. <clears throat> like I said, my brother's a gamer there, so uh, Diablo and uh, Teriel, I think. I don't play the game, so I'm not too sure, but he's picked those up. And uh, then finally we've got <coughs> some Seraph of the End stuff. So we've got Michaela, we've got Shinoa, and then we've got uh, the two U's. So we've got a normal one. Then we've got the uh, the demon version as well, which is really cool. Moving on to our, 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 our like, small little anime collection then, I'll just highlight a few. Uh, another cool series, uh, I've recently finished Aria the Scarlet Ammo. Uh, Scarlet Ammo, uh, my brother's Bleach collection. Uh, Code Geass, I've only got R1, which really annoys me. I need to get uh, R2. Uh, Dark and the Black, really cool series. The Devil is a Part-Timer, if you're into your laughs. Um, I got this for Christmas a couple of years ago. Uh, I've still got it like wrapped. Um, I'm not sure, maybe, uh, maybe I should do like an unboxing of it. But it's the Fate Stay Night uh, Unlimited Blade Works. Like, it's, it's part one. But it's kind of like a special edition set. Um, so there's... Trying to get me out of it. <laughs> uh, there's like artwork on the side there. Uh, you've got the Blu-rays as well, and then you've got that there on the other side, uh, which looks really cool. I mean, if you want to see an unboxing of that, let me know. I'm also trying to find the second one, but I can't find that anyway. It's really annoying. Uh, moving down then, so obviously we've got some Guilty Crown, High School of the Dead, uh, Horizon, Middle of Nowhere. I think the same again, I've only got like season one. <laughs> A lot of these I kind of get season one and then forget to get season two like an absolute idiot. Uh, I've got some Naruto stuff here, uh, Narigami, Pokemon movies of course. Steins Gate, uh, that was a surprise anime this year. It's uh, one that I've always been kind of like, hey I need to watch it and like literally I'd spend you know, up to like 3 a.m. watching this because it's a bit of a slow burner, but then as you, you start to progress, it's like I need the next episode. So definitely recommend that if you haven't seen it. Uh, I've got some Sword Art, got some uh, Higurashi when they cry there as well. Uh, we've got a Fallen Mikasa at the back there, so that's one of my figmas. Um, I've got an Aaron Jaeger one there as well. Do apologies for the lighting on this, it's just like really hard to get lighting in this room. Uh, moving down, so I've got Yugi and Joey. And then we've got a Kirito and a Sino, uh, like Gungale Online figures, uh, which is really cool. Um, we've got <clears throat> got Kanake hanging at the back. Um, I got that thing from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It was in one of the loot animes. I don't know if it's Josuki or something like that. I haven't seen the series, so I'm not 100% sure. Uh, they've got this Goku figure as well, uh, Super Saiyan doing his Kamehameha, which is awesome. I've uh, got Sosuke. From Naruto, obviously. Another loot anime uh, figure that I think that's Jin, I think it is from Jintama. Not 100% sure. Moving next to him, we've got Kuritsuku Amiya from the Fate Zero. Fate Zero. Uh, then we've got this uh, bootleg Gohan as well. I think all my Dragon Ball figures are bootlegs. Uh, I picked them up really cheap before I started doing any sort of collecting. Uh, but he looks pretty cool. Uh, then we've got Shana. Uh, figure from Shaka Gondo Shana, another cool series. Moving on, uh, the most recent addition is uh, Madoka Kaname, the Nendroid. Um, so the video should be up on that if you want to check that out. Uh, as well as the annoying Nendroid from Guilty Crown. She looks really cute. Moving down, uh, we've got a unboxed figure of Kakashi. We've got a bootleg Mikasa here. <laughs> uh, we've got a Figma Yugi Mote looking really cool. The lighting seems to be a lot better down here. <laughs> uh, then we've got uh, my brother's Diablo figure. Which looks pretty creepy just hanging behind uh, a Tem. Uh, then we've got Migi from <laughs> Parasite. Uh, I saw this like really cheap on Solaris Japan. I was like yeah I need to get that. Uh, and then bootleg section, so we've got like a, a Naruto <laughs> bootleg thing here, I think I brought that for my brother for Christmas a few years ago. Uh, Goku Spirit Bomb, and then this massive kind of Goku Super Saiyan thing there as well. Uh, brother's a big gamer, so there are a selection of his games if you're interested in that thing. And there we go, so we've got PS4, some Xbox One there, and I think these are like Xbox and PlayStation 3 stuff. So yeah, if you're interested in that stuff, that's the kind of stuff that he and we play, and then some PS1 games hanging just there. I think you can see Tekken 3 just hanging out there. Really cool game. Um, then we've got Link here as well. It's another figure I've got 
Got this for Christmas. I got a lot of stuff for Christmas. I'm quite lucky. <laughs> uh, but he's really cool, actually. Really tall uh, figure. But that's about it for um, this room. So let's go back up. So there we go, guys. That was my studio tour there. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe a little longer than I thought it would be. Um, but you know, I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on any upgrades or anything like that. I might do one uh, in like a year's time so you can see what's changed since then. Um, but I just want to say a big thank you once again for 500 subscribers on the channel. It's the whole reason we're doing this video today. Uh, it really does mean a lot. Uh, the support is overwhelming and uh, it's growing nicely. I mean, I really do appreciate any like, like, any comment. Of course, anyone that subscribes to the channel, I really appreciate it. Um, Going into 2018, as we're like we're almost crawling into December now, um, I'm looking at really kind of pushing the content, making more quality content, uh, changing the way I do things, maybe adding like a, a new kind of type of video to the, to the channel. So if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, or if there's anything you you like that I'm doing already, let me know in the comment section below so I can kind of put my focus on that. But obviously I'm aiming to get um, a thousand subscribers by the time this channel's been. Um, around for a year, which is in June. And at the moment, it's looking very, very positive. So thank you so much for all your support. Really appreciate that. But once again, a massive thank you for 500 subscribers. Uh, it's one milestone down uh, and hopefully more to come. So um, I'm gonna wrap things up here. I hope you enjoyed the studio tour. Leave, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. That is it from me. I will see you in the next video. Take care. The Lush Vibritania commands you.